This video aims to introduce the operational steps of different functional modes of Navy Force Watch. We got the NF9128 with six functional modes ranging from local time mode, world time mode, alarm mode, chronograph mode, memory mode to countdown mode. Firstly, I am supposed to present you the key components involved during this adjustment process. The button on the top left side of the watch is named button A. In counterclockwise order, the second button is button B. The third one is button C. The fourth one is button D. Locate button B and press it to change your watch into the mode you want. And the mark display in this area is a simple criteria for judging what function is operated. When the weak mark appears on the display, it turns out that the watch is in a local time mode, such as WED, indicating Wednesday. Press button B to switch into the word type mode with the signals of the city code NYC indicating the city New York and ALM along mode STW chronograph mode TOT memory mode TMR countdown mode in any setting mode, hold button C or button D for a few seconds to enter quick adjustment function. In local time mode, press button C to activate or deactivate the summer time. When the summer time is activated, the signals of the ST will appear in the lower right corner of the display. Summer time refers to a time which is one hour earlier than the standard time, so the value of the hour will change when you press button C. In local time mode, press button D to activate hourly time functions with the signals of CHI in the upper right corner of the display. And next, I will show you how to set the time, such as 1710 of November 28th. Press button A for 2 seconds. To enter time setting state, the signals of 12 or 24 hour time formats will blink. Press button D to switch between these two time formats. And then press button B to switch into the other items in turn. When switching into the second, press button D to adjust it to be zero. And then switch into the minutes. Press button D to adjust the selected item upwards. If you want to adjust the value downwards, you can press button C. So the minute is 10. And switch into the hour. The hour is 17. And the year is 2018. Switch into the month. Choose November. And switch into the date. Date is 28th. And press button B to switch into the city. 
and the signals of each city code corresponds to a city. Press button D to switch into different cities, such as HKG, indicating Hong Kong. The day of the week will be automatically updated according to the date. So we press button A to confirm and return to time display state. Press button B. To select the word type mode. Press button C to Activate or deactivate the summer time with the signals of DST in the lower right corner of the display and press button D to switch into different cities. A total of 24 time zones are available. Each city code corresponds to a time zone such as LON, LON, London, PAR, Paris, CAI, Carol, MOW, Moscow, DXB, Dubai, And here is the time difference between these cities. Press button B to select the alarm mode. Press button C to activate or deactivate the alarm function with the signals of ON in the lower right corner in ALM in the upper left corner. Press button D to select one of three sets of alarm mode. Alarm 1, 13A, activated. Alarm 2, 1040A, deactivated. Alarm 3, 235, deactivated. You can set three different alarms at a time. When three sets of alarm are deactivated, the signals of ALM will disappear. If you would like to set the alarm such as 720, press button A for two seconds. To enter time setting state, Minutes will blink. You can press button C or press button D to adjust the value. D, upward, C, downward. So we can press button D for a few seconds to quickly adjust the minutes to be 20. And press button B to switch into the hour and press button C to adjust it to be 7. Finally, press button A to confirm. When reaching the preset time, it will align for 30 seconds and then automatically stops or you could press any button to stop the alarm. Press button B to select the clinograph mode and then press button D to start timing. When timing, press button D to save the record and it will start retiming again after displaying the record for 5 seconds with flashing signals L1 on the left area.
and if you want to record the next data, you can press button D again. L2 Press button D again. L3 So you can record 100 sets of data one by one through pressing button D again and again. When timing, press button C to pause. And the record will be displayed for 5 seconds before displaying the total value. So here is the total value. If you press button C to reset the mode, the previous member rate will be deleted. If we don't reset the mode, and here are 5 SPL records, you can press button B to switch into the memory mode with the signal TOT and then press button D to track SPL records L1 L2 L3 L4 L5 and a, and a total value if you want to see the last data you can press button C from L5 to L4, L3. Finally, a maximum of 20 sets of SPL memories could be inquired. Press button B to select the countdown mode. For example, we have to set a countdown of 1 minute and 5 seconds. Press button A for 2 seconds. To enter time setting state, seconds will blink. Press button D or press button C to adjust the selected item. D, upward, C, downward. So we Press button C to adjust the second to be 5. And then press button B to switch into the minutes. And then press button D to adjust the minutes to be 1. Finally, press button A to finish the setting. When time is set, press button D. To start the countdown function. If you want to stop the countdown, you can press button D again. And you can press button D one more time to continue the countdown. If you stop the timer function, you can press button C to restart timer function. When the countdown ends, it will align for 30 seconds. Or you could press any button to stop the alarm.